What's up everyone? So today's video is my kind of postpartum care haul. I did a lot of research on what I should get for postpartum care because this is the one thing and I had so many of my friends tell me that our first time moms are like, no one talks about postpartum. Like no one talks about what happens with your body after you give birth and all the pain that you kind of go through as well and like what products are really good for taking care of everything. And so I always knew about postpartum because I do have a degree in child and adolescent development. So I took a lot of prenatal development classes. So I took, I saw a lot of birthing and just learned a lot about the birthing process and all that stuff. So I kind of already knew. And then also to refresh my memory, I watched a ton of videos to see what other people were recommending and what they experienced. Because remember, everyone's experiences are a little bit different. I just went and picked up a ton of stuff that I thought I would need after having her. Also, if you notice, if there's anything that I'm missing or stuff that I definitely need, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always open up to advice and recommendations from you guys, but let's just go ahead and see what I got right now. All right, so first thing is first. This is one thing that my mom told me about. So. This is the Upspring Strinx Belly. It's a postpartum belly wrap with bamboo charcoal fiber. So basically this is just a belly wrap to go around your belly. It looks like this right here. So as you guys know, after your birth, your skin is really stretched out so it doesn't automatically shrink back down. It's like you don't have that automatic you know, small little waist or small little tummy that you used to have. My mom actually told me that when she was younger, what my grandma did for her is she would just go around and just wrap her with like a cloth or just something to wrap her body with and it makes your belly shrink down faster and heal faster, I guess. So she's like, you definitely want a belly wrap. So I did some research online and I found this one on Amazon and this one had really good reviews and it actually seemed comfortable. So I got this one to wear for after I have her to help get my skin to go back down. But yeah, that's one thing I'm like, oh, I'm not looking forward to all that loose skin. <laughs> Next up is a product that I ordered that I actually showed in my like last minute baby essentials haul. And a lot of you guys said like, send it back. You don't need it. They give you one at the hospital, but I'm kind of like, okay with having this one just because also I ordered on Amazon and that would be a pain in the butt to ship back. And it's really not that expensive, but this is the Frida baby Fridit. This is the mom washer. It's a postpartum angled Perry bottle. So this is a great way to kind of clean yourself down there. It says packing your hospital bag. You won't want to forget this. Trust us. It gets messy. So it says way better than the hospital squirt bottle. The mom washer is a Perry bottle, especially designed to make your post delivery healing process cleaner and easier. So you're back to baby faster. So with this, you just unscrew the top, you put in the water, and then you also add in a little bit of witch hazel for soothing relief. And you just go down there and you, you clean yourself. I saw that this was really recommended and I guess I've heard from a lot of you guys say that the hospital gives you one, but I think this one will be really nice. So I am actually gonna be packing this in my hospital bag, which I know a lot of you guys are wanting to see as well. So once I get that bag packed, I'm probably gonna pack that here in a little bit. And once I get that bag packed, I will show you guys what I'm gonna bring to the hospital. Next up on Amazon that I saw that they recommended was the Earth Mama Herbal, um, perineal spray. This is take care down there. Yeah. <laughs> so basically what this is, is a quick how to. So you pack it into your birth bag. So you pack into your hospital bag and you take it with your peri bottle for those first post childbirth bathroom trips. So you miss as often as needed, especially after bath or toilet use, store in refrigerator for an extra cooling effect. So to explain a little bit more about it, it says pregnancy and childbirth will change your lady parts. Here's another fact you will heal <laughs> and there's no harm in getting some cooling comfort down there along the way. So the herbal perineal spray is a natural touch free herbal mist for pregnancy and postpartum use with a clever upside down sprayer. So it's easier to reach hard to get places with cooling cucumber, organic witch hazel and organic herbs traditionally used for postpartum relief. So this is just something that you just spray down there after you get done cleaning it and it will really help kind of ease the pain of everything. Thing. So I saw that this had a lot of really good reviews. So I picked that one up too. I really wanted to be prepared for anything. So I also picked up a Tux medicated cooling pads. These are hemorrhoidal pads with witch, witch hazel. So they're immediate relief from burning and itching caused by hemorrhoids. With pregnancy and after pregnancy, you have a tendency to get hemorrhoids. I've been really lucky this pregnancy and I haven't had hemorrhoids at all. Thank goodness crossing fingers that it continues that way and knock on wood. <laughs> 
But, um, yeah, so I actually like, know a lot of people that actually got it during pregnancy, and then also it's known to get it after pregnancy, so I thought I would just be prepared just in case. So basically all you do with this is just clean down there, pat dry, and then you want to apply this. You can apply it up to like six times a day, and it will just really help soothe everything down there. So it helps with discomfort following childbirth, rectal or vaginal sur um, surgery. So this also had a ton of really good reviews online. So I went ahead and picked this one up. It's, it came in a twin pack, so it's pretty huge, but it wasn't that expensive at all. Oh, there it is. So these are like the little boxes right here. So it has two of them. So I thought that was good. So I'll probably also pack that in my hospital bag just in case. We're gonna kind of stick with everything for <laughs> down there. So another thing that I picked up is this got kind of smashed. This is the Thena Sits Bath Soak Soothe and Relief. So this is pure Epsom salt and pure dead sea salt. So this is also supposed to be really nice for after you have the baby. What's a really good thing is you put it in a sits bath. So basically I got like that little, I don't want to unwrap it right now, but it's like that little toilet thing that you set on the toilet, you fill it with water, you put a little Epsom salt and you sit there and you soak for a bit. So I actually read online that doing this helps a lot of women heal even faster down there and also helps with like this if you have stitches and stuff it helps heal the stitches faster helps them dissolve faster like just helps that whole area just kind of get a kick start and also it feels really good so that's what i picked up because i heard so many good things about it i will be having this waiting for me when i come home for the hospital and hopefully it works just as good for me as it has for other women all right so what i also picked up are these always maxi pads right here so these are for overnight and they're the larger size so as you guys know after childbirth you are going to be bleeding you are still going to be leaking um and all that fun stuff gosh like it just sounds horrible i am dreading it like i was first like always dreading that i'm still dreading the, the delivery and the labor but i am really dreading postpartum and i feel like with a lot of first-time moms is you don't really know what to expect because not a lot of people talk about it so they don't know what to expect and they don't dread it because they don't know it's coming i know what's coming and i'm just like ugh. It's gonna be horrible, but yeah. So I picked up some of those maxi pads, so that way I have those. I'll be packing a few of those with me to the hospital. Ugh, fun stuff. All right, so another thing that I picked up are some underwear, and these are from Weararpa. Weararpa. This is the brand name. I got all this stuff like off of Amazon. These had really good reviews, so I went ahead and picked these ones up. They had a bunch of different kinds on Amazon, but I was just like really like looking. Okay, like look at the fabric. Is it stretchy? Like, is it going to be comfortable? Is it lightweight? Like, is it going to hold everything in tight, but also not be too like restricting? So I don't know, but I'll have to try those on and see how those fit but they look like they were gonna be really comfortable and they had really good reviews. So I will have all this stuff linked down below for you guys, but I just thought this would be definitely a necessity to have and everyone was saying like definitely get the underwear because I think they give you mesh panties at the hospital, but I kind of want my own, so yeah. All right, so now getting into the boobies. <laughs> so first off, um, I wanna show you guys these ones again, just in case if you missed my huge baby shower haul on my main channel. But these are the Bam Boobies washable nursing pads. So they sent these over to me. So these are definitely things that I'm gonna be packing in my hospital bag. They have the ultra thin and discreet ones right here, which is for light leaking. Then they also have the ultra absorbent overnight ones for the heavy like leaking and stuff. So this is what they look like right here. You can actually get them at Target. I even saw the nipple balm there that I think I'm gonna go back and pick up. But this is what it looks like right here, just little pads. It goes just right into your bra and it helps prevent leaking and then you just throw them in the wash. So I'm gonna be bringing those with me to the hospital. And then next up, I was hearing so many mommies rave about these. These are the Medela Tender Care Hydrogel. I believe they do give you some at the hospital from what I've seen, but I wanted to have some of my own on hand just in case for while I'm at the hospital and also for when I'm at home. But I bought three packs, three packs of them. These are the Tender Care Hydro Gel Soothing Gel Pads. So they're instant relief for sore nipples, cools on contact, contoured for fit, and reusable. So if you wanted to reduce stickiness and improve soothing, you can put it underneath the, like a cool stream of water for about one to two seconds, shake off the excess water, and then set aside for two minutes. And then all you have to do is just like gently place it on the nipple and like have it there. And then when you know you're gonna breastfeed, you take it off, you wipe down the nipple, clean it off, and then go and breastfeed. So 
it's supposed to be really soothing and I heard a lot of mommies say like these things were amazing and helped with all those like dry cracked nipples so I picked that up I also picked up the mother love nipple cream so I ordered this off of Amazon because I saw like I saw a lot of reviews on this one so this is what it looks like right there it's just a little jar I'm definitely going to go pick up the bamboobies one too and then also let me know if there's any other ones that you guys recommend that you found that were really effective for you I would love to hear your guys' opinions as well but this one is also USDA organic and I know the bamboobies one is too so I really like that but um, yeah, so I definitely got my nipple cream. I know I'm gonna need more than that though. So I'll probably go pick up the Bamboobies one and then also let me know in the comments down below. And the one that I like kind of like see the most people raving about, I'll order online on Amazon. But yeah, so a lot of this stuff is actually gonna be going into my hospital bag because I wanna be prepared. And so I figured we should do like, what's in my hospital bag and then what I actually used in my hospital bag. So we'll probably do that video too. I will also probably do another updated diaper bag after I have her for a few months to like kind of show you guys also like being a first time mom, you're like, you think you need these and then all of a sudden things start changing cause you have your, you start growing your own routine. So I will do that as well. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and for all the mommies that are pregnant right now, hang in there. You can do it, we can do it. We're reaching towards the end right now. And also for all the mommies that already had babies or recently had babies, let me know in the comments down below if I'm missing anything or what you recommend to definitely have and like any experiences that you wanna share. I love reading your guys' like experiences, your advice and your recommendations. They always help me a ton. Give this video a thumbs up if this kinda maybe helped prepare you if you're a first time pregnant mommy and good luck with everything. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video.